but you know as well as I do that there is one subject on everybody's lips today, and they want to know why the police were called to your house in the early hours of Friday morning. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Ian, and thank you very much for uh, your, your kind remarks and your, in your generous uh, introduction. And thank you, all, everybody, for coming along to the, the, these first and most important uh, uh, hustings that we're going to be having. Uh, I don't know, it's not the most important, be careful what I say. They'll all, they'll all be important, but these are the, these are, these are the first. Um, Ian, listen, uh, I think what people have come here today, a uh, seductive interviewer, there you, uh, there you are, I, I think people have, uh, I don't think they want to hear about uh, that kind of thing. Uh, unless, I, unless, unless, uh, unless I'm wrong, I think, I think, forgive me, I think what they want to hear, and uh, what they want to hear is what my plans are for the country and, we, and, and for our party. We will come and, to that. And you've you just taken done. up a minute with that answer, which has told us absolutely nothing. Um, if the police, if the police it's, are it's called your, to your home, exactly. it makes it everyone's business. You are running for the office of not just leader of the Conservative Party, but Prime Minister. So therefore, a lot of people who admire your politics do call into question your character. And I think it is incumbent on you to answer that question. That's, okay, well, look, that's a fair point. And uh, people are entitled to ask about uh, me and, and my uh, determination, my character, and, and, and uh, what I want to do for the, for the country. And uh, let me just tell you that when I make a promise in politics about what I'm going to do, I keep that promise and I deliver. Completely You've avoiding delivered. my question. And, well, I, I told you I was, going to, I was going to tell the good folk who have come here about, you asked about my character, actually. I'm not avoiding your question. You asked a very direct question about my character. And what well, I'm telling well, you... Well, let me put it uh, What I'm way. telling you let is that when it comes to... Does, does a person's to private life on my any promises, bearing on their ability to do the to job as Prime Minister? Promises, uh, and when you look at my determination to deliver for people who vote for me, when I say I will do X, I generally speaking deliver X plus 10. So we said we were going to cut crime. Uh, we actually cut crime, as I said, by, uh, by almost 20%. We cut the murder rate in London by 50%. We massively increased investment in uh, transport. And it was, broadly Look, speaking, I don't a gold medal. And, I think, and I think most people, if I could say, most people would really rather judge uh, my ambitions and my character and my programme by what I no, deliver what they in want office. to know is... Just answer that it is a very simple question. I think any politician, I shall ask Jeremy Hunt the same question as well. Does a person's private life... <laughs> don't boo! No, 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 don't boo the great man. Don't when boot, when he boot. answers this question, I will move no, on. No, no, no. Does, does a person's private life have any bearing on their ability to discharge the office of Prime Minister? Well, uh, no, I, I, I look, I, I've, I've tried to give the, my answer pretty exhaustively. I think what people want to know is whether I have the determination and the courage to deliver on the uh, commitments that I'm making, and it will need a lot of grit right now. And I think people are entitled to think about this, and it's, this is a relevant consideration, actually, Ian.